Hey everybody, so this is um, a makeup tutorial I decided to do because um, I really love to do makeup and I like to experiment with new things and when I experiment with experiment with new things I usually do it in front of the camera like I don't get to do my makeup really like extravagantly very often but when I do like it's fun to kind of um, you know discuss it with you guys and um, see what you guys think because I think this is a really really pretty look and I especially did it for people who have close set eyes because um, I kind of have like I kind of have close set eyes and they're kind of sm on the smaller side so um, it's really hard for me to to wear makeup uh, and make it look really like intense when you have close set eyes because anything that you do will make your eyes kind of look like it's squ they're squished together so that kind of sucks. It's really pretty, has lots of golds and um, bronzy and blacks and um, I don't know, I think it looks really nice and I think it like really makes your eyes look a lot bigger and um, if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look, please stay tuned. So I started off by priming my eye with MAC Prep and Prime in um, light and I primed my eyes all the way up to my brow underneath and even in my waterline um, just to make sure because I have really oily skin just to make sure that the makeup will stay on and so what I'm going to do first take this um, CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast that I have here it doesn't have like a color to it it just is it's just black and it's just like a black and silvery color anyways the thing about this is I've, ha I've only used this once and the they keep falling out which kind of sucks but anyways so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this white halfway on my eye and even taking it into the corner of my eye so just kind of until you hit the crease, that's where you're gonna stop here. And make sure you got a good base on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other side, the black side. Oops. And I'm going to put that on the other half of my eye. So I'm gonna make it, I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm gonna make it so it kind of flares out a little bit because I'm going to put shadow out there too. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Coastal Sense 88 um, Shimmer Palette. I'm going to take this color right here. And I'm going to take my Sigma SS252 brush. I'm going to focus. And I'm going to apply that to where I applied anything white, basically. So, and it gives it a really nice because the base is white it gives a really nice um, like shimmery color really deep color because it's sticking to that um, kind of stick I guess you could say okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, this color from like this color right here, so it's third from the bottom. It's like a really dark bronzy color. And I'm going to put that where I have basically like in the middle of my eye. Because I have close set eyes, I really want to make sure I go from light to medium to darker because this will make my eyes look appear wider than what they are and they won't appear so close. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color right here from my palette, so this one right here, and I'm going to apply that to, to the rest of the black. So the black just apply like gives you a nice dark base to work on. And then I'm going to take my... Sigma SS219 brush, looks like this, and I'm going to take the black that's in my Sigma palette, and I'm just going to do the outer corners. 
Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to take my SS224 brush, my blending brush, and I'm just going to blend it in. And then I'm going to take my, this color here, it's like a really light beigey color, and I'm going to use that as my highlight. It's like a really nice golden -y beige color. <clears throat> Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my my angle brush from Sigma it's SS266 and then I'm going to take this color that I use for the middle of my eye right here again Let's see it's right there and I'm going to put that on my lower lash lower lash line then I'm going to take my um, Bond Bell Eye Definer White Eyeliner, and I mean, <clears throat> you can use any white eyeliner, obviously. And I'm going to apply that to to my waterline. This gives the appearance of your eye looking bigger. I actually have this Gosh um, Golden Globe 009 eyeliner, and it's really really pretty gold color it's going to be easier to see on here look how nice that is it's very shimmery i'm really into golds um i'm going to take that and i'm going to put it on the inner corner of my eye like that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my engraved powerpoint by mac and just looks like this and i'm going to take that and then put it on my tight line Make sure I go pretty close to the corner. So this is going to give me an illusion that I have an, an, a line here, but I really am not going to put a line here because my eyes are small. I don't tend to like to put um, eyeliner all the way to the corner of my eye, so this is a good alternative. So it still outlines my eye, but without putting liner at the top because it will just make my eyes look smaller and closer together. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this um, Gosh Extreme Art Eyeliner. I don't know if you can see it. And it looks like this. It's a liquid eyeliner. So I'm just going to put that on starting from the middle of my eye. And I'm getting it out. And I did that one a little bit messed up. It's okay. Just kind of fill it in. And then put your mascara on. Usually if I do like a really dramatic look like this, I usually like to put eyelashes on, but for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to. Um, so you just take your Mascara, and I'm using my Define the Lash that I am in love with. Mascara in uh, very black. And I'm going to apply that to my lashes. This mascara, as you can see, is really good at getting right to the root of my lashes. And you're just going to apply that to all your lashes. And kind of wing out these lashes to make your eyes look a little bit bigger to help the wing and then I'm going to do my lower lashes as well so I hope you guys like this look and I'll talk to you guys later